Hi, I'm Adam Saltis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own Bitcoin seed phrase. This is a tool that I copied from a guy named Ian Coleman. You can find his original one if you Google Ian Coleman Bit39. It's a free and open source web page. I've just modified it, my version of it to simplify it a bit and change some of the defaults. I'm hosting it at adamsaltis.com slash bit39. And what you can do when you get to the page is right click on it and go save as and download it to your hard drive. And then if my website's ever offline or you don't have internet access, you can just run it off your local hard drive and it'll still work. And you can click generate and it's going to give you a 12 word seed phrase. And this is like the master key to a wallet that has many, many addresses and their corresponding private keys. We can ask for more addresses. We can basically get an unlimited number of addresses from this one seed phrase. And what you would do is just take the first address that comes up and you could send some money here to load the wallet with funds. Uh, before you do that, you're going to want to write down the seed phrase because this page isn't going to remember it for you. If we refresh this or close the tab and come back to it, that seed phrase is gone. And uh, we're never going to get the same addresses again. It's, it's giving us a new random seed phrase every time we click generate. But if you have the original one that you loaded up with money and you type it in again, then it's going to bring up the same addresses as before and the same private keys. So another thing you're going to want to do, um, if you write down the seed phrase, if someone was to find it and get access to it, they're going to be able to take all the money from this wallet. So you want to have an additional password on it. And I'm going to say one, two, three, just to demonstrate. So we're getting a new address here, X5X, versus without the password, we were getting 7WW. The password on again, we get X5X. So every password you enter here is going to bring up a whole different set of addresses. And uh, what you want to probably do is load up the address for the wallet that doesn't have any password. So if someone finds the seed phrase, you need to get $100 or something that they find in this address, and hopefully they leave you alone. And then you have a super secure passphrase that you use for your savings, for your cold storage. You want to make that one really long, so don't use one, two, three. Something that has lots of characters, maybe more than 100, let's say, and some punctuation marks too, with a smiley face on the end. That's going to be much harder for a computer to crack now. And then uh, you're going to need both of these to get access to the wallet, right? So you'll have to write them both down. Just don't store them together. Keep the password, password in one spot and the seed phrase in another. And uh, you may also want to try to commit both of them to memory. So if you're in a bind and you have to run out of the house or leave the country and you don't have time to get into your safe, or your safety deposit box at the bank, wherever you're keeping your seed phrase, it's nice to have the peace of mind that you have a copy of it in your head that you can take with you uh, wherever you need to go. And um, when you're traveling, you don't need to be carrying some kind of device or a piece of paper with a seed phrase on it. If you can just keep it in your head, no one's going to find it there. Okay, and then... If you don't think you can memorize these 12 words, I'm going to show you another option where you can create your own words. If you click text here, and then in this entropy box, you can type some random words. Just make sure that you make this super long and random, just like with the passphrase. Um, because there are you know clusters of supercomputers out there that are constantly guessing uh, to try to find seed phrases that are generated this way. It's called a brain wallet. And uh, if it's not long enough with some random punctuation and arbitrary elements like that, don't use song lyrics or uh, 
a poem or anything that a computer is going to be able to guess easily. Just make sure it's super long and a little bit of randomness. That should be good. And you can get your 12 words from that. And uh, here it's deriving the seed phrase that ends in dull enemy around. So let me just refresh the page, put in the same entropy, and choose 12 words, and we get dull enemy around. So now this may be easier for you to memorize if you're able to make up your own phrase. Just be careful that it's something really long and random. And then uh, if you're worried about forgetting it, then you should still probably write down a seed phrase somewhere as well. And I still recommend doing the additional passphrase like we talked about and having the decoy wallet. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you another video on how to access the money. This was getting us to the point where we get an address that we can put money into, but this page doesn't give you a way to take money out. For that, we're going to use a wallet called Sparrow or Electrum, and we're going to use a secure environment called Tails Operating System that can run off the USB stick, and that's going to guarantee that you're running on a computer that doesn't have any viruses or anything that would be able to capture your seed phrase or your private keys. So look forward to that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.